Hey guys, West Coast Taco, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification button just so you guys can stay up to date with uh, all the new stuff I'm doing on my Toyota Tacoma. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments section. Today I wanted to do a little bit deeper dive into the TRD lift kit that I recently had installed. If you guys are new to this channel and this is your first time watching, uh, I'd recommend going back and looking at the rest of my videos because I've kind of done a little timeline um, as I've gone through each step of purchasing this lift kit, having it installed, and then doing a review until it's fitted on the truck. So um, if you need to catch up, I recommend doing that. And this video is to really just follow up on a lot of the questions I've been asked in regards to this kit and some of the things I've discovered and found out. So uh, first things first, do I like the kit? Yes, I do. I really like the kit. In regards to the way the truck drives previously till now, it's a big difference. The back of the truck is much tighter. It handles the turns way better. Um, the bumps, everything that I'm driving on, whether it's on the road or on a dirt path, it's been really smooth. It's been really nice. And I notice a very big difference. Um, in my honest opinion, I think it drives better with the lift kit on than it did before when it was just the stock Bilstein shocks that came on the TRD off-road. But that's just my personal opinion. I feel like a lot of times when you get a kit or a lift done on your truck, the ride is not maybe as comfortable as it was previously to when you had the stock lift or uh, I should say the stock suspension on. But uh, this has definitely surpassed my expectations um, in regards to comfort and just the way the truck handles when I'm driving it. Um, it's, it's just phenomenal. So when it comes to did I sacrifice any ride comfort or quality by going with this lift kit no not at all um the second thing i'm going to hit up on is or touch on is the warranty for this lift kit so per toyota's trd website it says that when you have this kit installed um, by a different party instead of a toyota dealership they do offer a twelve thousand mile warranty on the parts now you know what you do to the part and how you might you know affect it that would require you to take it back in to get it replaced or refund your money would probably be kind of a pain just because you know there's going to be a lot of okay what'd you do to the product was it installed properly there's going to be a lot of boxes i'm sure toyota is going to want to check before they give you your money's back or they you know replace your product so keep that in mind also the big reason i've really pursued this lift kit as you guys will recall um, from my other videos is that I have a double cab lawn bed TRD off-road Tacoma and according to TRD and Toyota you know this lift kit is not compatible with this truck so in going out on this venture part of my plan was to try to you know prove that yes you can use this TRD lift kit and you know as I've gone through this journey I've found forums on I think it was Tacoma world and then a couple on reddit where there are people that have had these lift kits installed on their double cab lawn beds at the dealership. And from what I've read and what I've seen, a lot of dealerships are just stating that Toyota spent a lot of time, effort, and money into making sure this kit was not going to affect their Toyota Tacomas in a negative way. And when they did that, they spent the time and effort doing it on double cab short bed Tacomas. Um, and a few other models as well. But what they didn't do is they didn't dive deep into trying this kit onto double cab lawn beds and other Tacomas that may not be as common as the double cab short beds and a few of the other base models that people tend to go after. So that was kind of what I was getting from a lot of people when they were saying that, you know, they were able to get it installed and the dealers they were going through um, we're doing it. That's the kind of the answer that they were giving them in regards to why people are saying or why, why Toyota essentially claimed that it couldn't be compatible with the double cab lawn beds versus why it is actually compatible, but just not essentially claimed by Toyota since they didn't go through all the proper procedures to um, verify that it could work. So that's kind of what I'm hearing. This is not like the official, you know, and all be all by any means but if you guys are curious as to why toyota states that it's not compatible um, from what i understand it's more of like a disclaimer so that way if you put it on and something does happen they can say well we never said it was compatible um 
since I've had the lift kit on, I've had zero issues at all. No, no ride issues. And I just kind of talked about the quality of the ride. No problems at all with my um, you know, TSS sensor, with any of my um, options that I have on the truck in regards to the technology package. I haven't had any issues. Everything's been working great. And um, so far, so good. So what I'll do is now I'm gonna just transition to the back of the truck, get you a better view um, of the back portion and the shocks that are back there. And then I will dive into a few more other um, details and things I've noticed since I've had this kit installed. So hopefully some of these close-up videos are providing you with just some better angles so you can actually see you know, how it fits on the truck and um, you know what's going on down here. Since I know a lot of these videos I typically see you know, the pictures of the shocks and the suspension um, are usually very brief in the videos. And then typically most of the video is on the exterior of the truck. So I want to get you guys a better angle of this. So stand by for a second and I'll readjust and I'll start it back up. All right, guys. So just wanted to take back off from where I left off. And, uh, you know, for any of you guys that have the double cab lawn beds or maybe have like the two wheel drive or... Um, just a different model that, that the TRD lift kit is supposedly not compatible with. You know, I, like I said, I haven't had any issues, but I would do your homework, do your research. I'm hoping these videos are providing you guys with some good insight and help as you guys are seeking knowledge on it. I mean, I'm not going to say that it'll work on every single Tacoma, but you know, from what I've read, from what I understand, the majority of what's going on down underneath the truck where the suspension is happening it is all exactly the same. You know, there's not a huge difference. I think obviously in the TRD Pro, you've already got the Fox shock, so why would you even, you know, kind of go after a lift like this? But from what I'm seeing and what I'm reading, a lot of people are doing lifts to the truck. I mean, I tell people all the time, and um, I was told this as well, people install the Bill's Team 5100 kits on their trucks all the time. You know, it's super common. It's, it's done on a regular basis by a lot of Tacoma owners. And this TRD lift kit, you know, it's essentially, you know, a Bilstein 5100. I mean, it's it's slightly different in its size and um, it's you know TRD tuned. But outside of that, I mean, you're you're really kind of just getting a Bilstein 5100. Um, you know, there's not a huge difference. So why would this not work if the Bilstein 5100s work for all these other models? So that kind of was something that really gave me a peace of mind. When I went forward with this lift kit, um, it's it definitely it's definitely one of those things. Whenever you get ready to do a mod and you're taking it a chance, you know there is that risk. And from what I've seen, what I've heard, what I've been told, a lot of Toyota dealerships will not install these. You know, you you'll go, you'll ask for the kit. They'll say, yeah, no problem. What's your make and model or what's your year? You'll give it to them and say, oh, sorry, your your vehicle is not compatible with this kit. We can't do it because they don't want to be reliable. They don't want to be liable for a warranty. That Toyota said it wasn't, you know, that this kit wasn't compatible with. So I get why they say no. But when I had the shop do mine, zero issues. There wasn't even a second question. And they actually told me this wasn't their first TRD lift kit they had installed on a Tacoma. They couldn't recall if it was a double cab lawn bed, but you know, it wasn't their first one that they had brought someone had brought into the shop and asked them to install. And to be quite honest, guys, I mean this is nothing against Toyota, you know, this is nothing against their mechanics by any means. But I would personally, you know, if I'm going to do this, and I know that there's a good chance it's not going to be covered under warranty anyways, um, you know, I would rather take my truck to a mechanic who specializes in doing lifts and continuously works on off-roading vehicles. Um, I'd rather have, I would rather have him install this than a mechanic um, who maybe has never installed this lift before. Um, someone who maybe is newer, you know, you never know what kind of mechanic you're getting in the back. If you have a mechanic that you know at a Toyota dealership and he does all the work on your vehicles, then great, more power to you. But for a lot of us that, you know, drop our vehicles off at a dealership, we have no idea who's working on it. Um, you know, it could be someone who's been there for a long time and has a lot of experience or someone who's only been there a few weeks and he's just straight out of the, the education process for learning how to work on these vehicles. So, these are all things I took into consideration before I, you know, took my truck in and had it done at the place I had it done at. And I mentioned in my last video where I did the full review of the truck from the exterior, um, you know, I did this through a 
off-road shop called Next Gen Off-Road in Marietta, California. They did a great job. And um, I believe I touched on this, but when I was going to have a local Toyota dealership do this, they gave me a quote of $1,700 for the lift kit, $1,800 for the labor, and that did not include you know, mounting or aligning my tires. Um, it was just for the lift kit and then the installation of the lift kit. That was it. Um, next gen off road, they charged me five fifty to install my four new tires or four used tires, I should say, do the alignment and install the lift kit. The only the only part of the kit they did not install was the grill, which I did myself. And I will go over that grill again and kind of give you guys some more information on what I did and how I put it together and how it went in and if I had any issues. Um, these next few videos I'm doing, I'm just trying to dive deeper into the kit itself and just provide you guys with any information that you might find helpful if you're about to do this or thinking about doing this. So, you know, at the end of the day, guys, it's your call. Whatever you want to do, you know, it's up to you. But thankfully, I have had zero issues when it comes to this lift kit and everything has been just working phenomenally. Um, there's that spacer block. Um, you know, I was really thinking about just doing an add -a leaf. Why I didn't do an add -a leaf is because then if I did that, you would never know if this TRD lift kit out of the box would work with a double cab long bed Tacoma. So I didn't want to, to waver at all from the kit. I wanted to be exactly from, you know, what it is in the box and put on my truck and see if there were any issues. And like I said, guys, zero issues. And like I've seen on other forums of people that have had this lift kit installed on their double cab lawn beds they haven't had any issues either. So at this time and point, nothing to report, no problems, not even a slight hiccup. Like I said, with the TSS sensor, everything that has been on this truck before I bought it um, is working the same way the day was when I, when I bought it. So no complaints or issues here. And you know, one thing to keep in mind um, when it comes to clearance, you know, everybody buys these kits for a different reason. Some people want it for more of the aesthetics like I do, which is also a little bit more clearance in case you do do some trails. If you guys are looking to do some serious off-roading, uh, this, in my in my honest opinion, I would not recommend this kit. I'm not, a, I'm not like an avid off-roader. I don't do rock climbing. Um, or rock crawling, I, I, it's just not really what I do with this truck. But, you know, these are great shocks and I think they would do totally fine on a fairly aggressive trail. But if you guys are gonna be running the dunes and rock crawling and putting your truck through a lot of wear and tear and, you know, having a lot of fun with it, I would really consider doing something more like with Keen or with Fox. Um, just because, you know, this is uh, the TRD lift kit, but I just don't know how much you know, this will provide you in regards to performance in a really harsh environment. So um, that would be my only two cents as to maybe why you wouldn't go with this lift kit. And if you just want to go with the Bill's Team 5100s, I think it's going to be almost identical in regards to the results you get. I don't think you're going to have much of a difference. But like I said, for me, this was more about showing you guys that it can be done. I wanted to kind of, you know, do my Tacoma and all the TRD, um, mods that you could kind of get through Toyota for it. And this was a big ticket item. So, um, you know, that's why I did what I did. And that's why I'm posting these videos is to hopefully help you guys that are curious and wanting to know, um, will it work? And like I said, at the very first video I made, if you guys go back to the first video I did, you know, the whole purpose of me doing these is to just try to give back to you guys. I know what it's like to try to find information on something, not find information on it. And then you hear about somebody who did it and then he never comes back to tell you how it worked or if he's had any problems or if he's having success. So that is the purpose of this guys is to really just kind of give back to you guys, help out and provide you guys with the support you need to help make a better decision. Um, Cause these kits, you know, they're not, they're not cheap. They're very expensive and it's an investment. So um, hopefully you guys are, are getting something out of this and hopefully it's helping you. So. But with that, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Just like I said, wanted to give you guys a better view of these shocks from underneath and kind of let you guys see what was going on and how this whole thing works. Just so you guys could actually see um, the mechanical engineering behind it. So 
nothing nothing super fancy here i hope you could see the parking spacer block that was right around the corner from here i don't know if my camera's getting it but it's right up there it comes with two of them one for each side but yeah guys so i'm gonna let you guys go if you guys have any questions at all hit me up in the comments section i'm more than happy to help with any questions that i'm not covering but you know the main takeaway with this kit is remember the warranty is probably not going to happen if you do it on a vehicle that's it states it's not compatible with for this lift kit um and you know at the end of the day that that could be something that just makes you decide not to go forward with it at all but the fact that it came with the grill the fact that it is a trd product um you know that's kind of why i went for it outside of the fact that like i said i really wanted to help you guys and show you guys that apparently it does work on the double cab lawn bed even though toyota states it doesn't and so hopefully my story of what i've read about them pretty much just disclaiming that it doesn't work because they weren't able to do proper trials and tests and didn't want to invest into it since there's just not many double cab lawn beds and a few of the other models that they mentioned that it's not compatible with hopefully that helps like i said it wasn't like i heard that from toyota it wasn't something that like, I necessarily heard from you know, anyone of higher power um, from the Toyota company. It's just what I found on forums and what I could find. So hope that helps, guys. I will be posting some more videos. I've got some more mods I'm going to be doing, going over a few more things. And um, once again, any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm happy to help. Talk to you soon, guys. See ya.